If you're like me, you hate packing. And by packing, I mean packing for your trip. And if you're like me, you tend to overpack uh, <laughs> for many reasons, right? It could be because you're packing at the last minute. Guilty, right? Put in the comments if you're guilty. <laughs> Actually, no need to. <laughs> uh, give me a thumbs up if you are. <laughs> but anyways, you, you, you might be packing late you might be like me where it's like oh you know what if i i, I need this what if i need this and then when you uh, a two-day trip you're packing for a two-day trip instead of just bringing a small luggage you're bringing a big carry-on luggage or check-in luggage that's like 50 pounds and you're like thinking hey it's better safe than sorry right because you don't know if they're gonna have these items out there you never know if emergency happens right you always think about what if scenarios <laughs> but Lately, I've been flying more frequently, especially this year. I've been flying a lot. Jeez. Uh, <laughs> and I'm learning. I'm learning. So I'm still in the process of learning how to pack more efficiently, how to pack items that I only need. So I've, I've learned some travel hacks. So what normally would take me uh, a while to pack like a big luggage right i've now compressed everything into a small luggage a carry-on luggage right and but uh, i'm learning that hey with domestic flights you know sometimes you you just want to get out of the airport as fast as possible right and when you have to check in your luggage that's like a whole nother fiasco another whole nother weight and all this extra weight that you're carrying alongside it's just it, it makes the travel experience less pleasant less enjoyable so uh you want to be able to pack everything in a smaller luggage right smaller luggage that's not overweight so that i do to pack more efficiently and i think the the most important thing first is to know what the event is for like where are you going so i am preparing to go on a business trip to meet with other ceos it's a four-day conference right so that means hey i need to dress up so i need to get some suits so fortunately i already got my clothes dry clean and i also need fresh undies i have a month's worth of undies that i have don't ask why <laughs> okay i hate doing laundry okay so i just buy more more undies and same thing with socks and let's see what else i i got i got all these stuff so like when i pack i like having all these electronic equipments wow backup power banks uh multiple chargers multiple phones uh ipads laptops just things what if what if there's a power outage what if i need access to technology what if no one uh someone's trying to get a hold of me but they can't reach me because i have no access to to electricity right there you go what if scenarios so <laughs> back to the point first thing you want to do is know what event you're going to and for how many days right so um, a key piece of advice of what i'm learned is if they're dressing business casual it's always good to uh, dress a little bit more up up than that so i'm gonna wear a full suit and tie right with nice shoes you know i'm gonna take care of my shoes as well and do my hair i got my hair cut done and the next thing is you want to make a list a list of all the things you need and because i've been flying a few times already this year is i have a list that i've made before right so I can use it as a template, right? I mean, if if you want this list, uh, put in the comments. I, I'd be happy to share it with you, but I'm sure like we have different needs <laughs> or different amenities that we enjoy. Uh, so some things I have on here, uh, I can list it all. We got time, right? Do we got time? We got deodorants, cell phones, laptop, chargers, underwear, shoes, socks, belt, notebooks, toothbrush, shaver, floss, t-shirt, dress shirt, dress pants, jeans, white beater, dress socks, cell phone stand, ring light, wallet, ties, watch, food, MacBook chargers, passport, water, bottle coffee tea bags gum sunglasses eyeglasses jacket htc hat bluetooth headset spare headset earphone necklace <laughs> <sighs> all right cool so we got it done pretty quickly can i be a rapper uh did i stutter i, I stutter a lot so watch you're probably gonna rewind it and see what parts i started on <laughs> don't <laughs> don't all right so now that i have a template i'm gonna look at hmm how many of each do I need? I need two deodorants, 
right? Time. Because, you know, what if you lose one? That's very important, right? You want to, your first impression matters, not just what you look like, but how you smell, right? I think what they say, sense is the strongest thing tied to memory. So I like to make sure that I have deodorant with me everywhere I go. So yeah, it could, it could use another application. Old Spice is what I use. Uh, cell phones. I got two cell phones. I'm recording from one cell phone. I got this other cell phone because uh, different purposes, business, uh, and one's recording, one's I'm using, right? So it works out. Let's see. And if I'm going to be out in an event all day where I might not have a power bank, or even if I do have a power bank, I may leave one of my phones off so that I can conserve the battery and have um, just use one of the phones during the day. So it's only draining one battery because uh, I don't know about you, but when I attend live events, I like to do videos, meaning I, I like to uh, record things. I like to interview people. I like to uh, check, um, post things on Facebook, Instagram, whatever, and check my emails. You never know. So laptop, laptop, you always need as, as great as a cell phone is nowadays. Uh, there's still some limitations. For example, the CRM software I use for uh, one of my clients, uh, I have to use a laptop to be able to access the CRM appropriately. All right, chargers, gotta make sure you get the chargers. Underwear, get those clean undies. Uh, shoes, definitely get some shoes, get some tennis shoes, because you wanna go to a gym, make sure you go to a gym. That's a pro tip, go to a gym at the hotel, always wherever the event's at, right? Business event, whatever event, get a room at the hotel so you can network. And a great way to network with individuals is at the gym, right? Before the conference, after the conference. And this is way where, you know, you'll meet other like-minded individuals, people that want to care about their health as well, that care about wanting to uh, improve on their self-development, want to learn new skills. So it's a great way to connect, right? And you might have a, a find a gym partner with that, right? To help you do, do the bench press, right? So you're not shaking. <laughs> I need to work on my bench press skills. Uh, okay, so uh, shoes, you wanna make sure you got dress shoes uh, as well. Have one pair of black, one pair of brown shoes. That's, that's I think that's like the, the common thing. And a shoe cleaner, you wanna make sure you got shoe cleaner. I don't think I got that on there. Shoe cleaner socks stocks i put stocks it should be socks so here's 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 the thing where i messed up a lot of times make sure you get regular socks right and dress socks because <laughs> you don't want to be wearing no dress shoes with some regular tennis shoe socks because that's going to be looking awkward right especially when you get your legs up right when you cross your legs they can see your ankle and you're wearing dress shoes they're like what the easy this is weird surprisingly you know it's like if you're in cambodia the culture there is that they wear short socks with their dress shoes it's it's awkward uh, but that's the standard they actually uh, look at you different when you wear long dress socks <laughs> with your dress shoes anyways going off topic belts make sure you get belts right have more than one belt because sometimes you you don't want your pants to fall <laughs> i mean how embarrassing is that right i know some people they don't wear belts uh that's fine but for me i wear belts no books never ever uh rely on the conference or whatever events you have notebooks it's always good to bring your own notebook right it also is a way to show your character right and let me show you my notebook so this notebook is special to me because my baby got it and this ain't no black book okay but it feels nice. It feels like a letter. It says journal, right? And it has my notes in here and it opens all the way, right? It doesn't, doesn't feel like it's cheap, but yeah, have a, have a good notebook. Make sure you bring pens, right? I use a one, one millimeter pen, 1.0. I like a thicker pen where it gets a bolder, uh, gel ink <laughs> anyways. Okay. So toothbrush gotta bring toothbrush. Uh, sometimes if you do forget your toothbrush, they might have it on a plane. And usually if you stay at more higher end hotels, they'll have complimentary toothbrushes, but sometimes the quality is not that good. So I recommend bringing your own, right? And, uh, you want to bring your shaver. So, um, ladies, guys, whatever you are, <laughs> however you groom, make sure you get your grooming materials. Don't, don't, don't depend on the hotel to help out with that. Usually if, 
if you're staying at a, a, a hotel that offers amenities, complimentary shaving kits, they, they suck. They're like the single blade razors and you're going to get cuts and stuff. Not that I don't get cut regardless, but it's, just, it's like you got to take care of yourself. So uh, floss, make sure you get a lot of floss, right? The type of floss I recommend, I can show it to you later. It's the it's made out of this like Teflon material, so it never breaks easily. So the string works really well. So it gets it cleans out your teeth. Uh, T-shirts, uh, yeah, have regular shirts for your gym, right? T-shirts, and maybe if you're going out casually, it's um, cold out at night, you're going for a walk. T-shirts help. Uh, dress shirts, gotta get dress shirts. Bring more than one, of course. Uh, you know, sometimes they have dry cleaning services at the hotel, but I always like to bring, if I'm going for four days, that means I'm gonna have four dress shirts, right? And dress pants, dress pants. I usually just bring two dress pants because I can just wear the pants again and get in. Uh, not to say that it's not dirty, it might be not the most sanitary, but Remember, we're compressing everything in here. So we want to make sure that we uh, keep it good, keep it tidy. Jeans. Uh, I always get black jeans. Black jeans. Just have, have one black jeans. Just one. Just one. Okay, don't be getting no black jeans and some blue jeans and some navy khaki jeans, all that stuff. Just get one, whatever you like that's comfortable. And let's see. Wife beaters, inside shirts, and white tees. I don't know what you call it, but yeah, the thing that yeah helps uh, so you wear that with your dress shirts at least i do and cell phone stand i don't oh oh yeah so cell phone stands you for me i like to do videos so i'm gonna probably be recording some videos while i'm at the hotel there and uh i'm gonna bring a stand for my cell phone so i can record and you also want to make, make sure you bring the mic bring your mic so i'm using a mic right now hello hello Hopefully it wasn't too loud, I apologize. So let's make sure I got that cell phone stand, microphone. Because last time, because I did not have it in there, I actually forgot my microphone. I was sad. Ring light, uh, I don't think I have room for this. Uh, the ring light that I'm currently using, hello. You see my the, the ring light in my eyes? Yeah, it's not gonna have space, so. I got improvised then, right? You can always improvise. Wallet, make sure you bring your wallet. Right. You don't want to fly without your wallet and your ID, money, cards. Don't do that. Uh, yeah, and that's. I think that's one of the the most important things, right? If you if you had to make sure you bring anything at all, make sure you bring your wallet. Uh, why is that? Because number one, your wallet will have your ID, and you'll be able to fly. And with your cards in there, your credit cards, debit cards, cash, you can always buy stuff there right uh, but you shouldn't rely on it but know that if there's anything that you need it's probably the wallet and a phone uh let's see ties i i, I love to wear ties see the thing i don't know if you're like me <laughs> i buy a lot of ties but once i find one tie that i like i tend to wear just that one tie maybe two or three ties not at the same time but i only select rotate those ties uh let's see a watch make sure you bring a watch yep fashion accessory i guess first impression matters and just feels feels <laughs> oh <laughs> pause <laughs> yeah it feels nice wearing a watch and at least for me uh food uh bring food uh sometimes on the plane they don't serve food they might serve snacks i got early morning flight at 7 a.m and i'm gonna get to the conference or land in dallas at like 12 p.m and by 1 p.m i i'm going to my first uh meeting with the ceo so i gotta I gotta be wear ready. I gotta wear my suit early in the morning and have food ready. So I, I don't wanna show up to a meeting all hungry and starving, be like, <laughs> where I don't have time to network or talk to people and stuff or listen. All right. So, what kind of food you're wondering? Uh, jerky. Bring some jerky, bring some bread, uh, bring a sandwich, whatever it is that you like that makes you feel good. I mean, breakfast is the most important meal of the day for some people that's what they say for me sometimes i skip breakfast but at least have something all right uh let's see 
uh macbook chargers yeah <laughs> you know if you can carry your laptop that's an extra like four five six pounds depending on what type of laptop you have and you gotta make sure that you bring your charger otherwise it's gonna be dead weight right passport um uh, since it's a domestic flight i think i don't need my passport yet like the real id doesn't go into effect yet a uh, water bottle don't bring a big one like this because it's too big but bring a smaller one if you can and make sure it's empty make sure it's empty because i have the mistake of leaving water in there where i have to dump it out and on my recent trip to georgia on the way back from georgia to la i forgot i had water in there so i already went to security checkpoint they're like hey in order for you to uh keep this water bottle you have to go back out go back in line oh go back out dump it go back in line and go through whole security thing again and i was like you know what ah i ain't got time for that just throw it out <laughs> like it's an inconvenience so don't make the same mistake as me <laughs> if you have i know how you feel like put in the comments like what was your experience like and yeah i can go on and on for just noob mistakes that i've made recently so i'm speaking from experience uh coffee coffee sometimes you can't trust the coffee at the hotel sometimes i only give you like one coffee sometimes there's starbucks but it's not open 24 hours sometimes you need an emergency or sometimes you want to know that the coffee that you have is the good shit so uh i'm not gonna bring my french press or anything but i have like these uh, instant coffees um crystals whatever you call it that i like that i enjoy the flavor it makes me feel happy right it gets my day in the right mood uh i'm gonna be bringing that and i got tea as well like i got the the decaffeinated tea like tea that is uh chamomile <laughs> i was saying do you know what chamomile is Chamomile, right? Chamomile, chamomile, kamomile. I don't know. Chamomile. I like to call it chamomile because it sounds funny and it sounds bougie. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, bring some tea of that. Green tea, brown rice tea. Uh, bring that oolong tea. Uh, gum. Make sure you bring gum, breath mints, because your breath is going to stink. Trust me, when you drink coffee, when you eat food, your breath is going to stink no matter. I don't care who you are. <laughs> your breath is gonna stink my breath stink you can probably smell my breath <laughs> uh, um, bring sunglasses right because it's gonna be bright out there i have prescription sunglasses so if you see me wearing sunglasses indoors don't judge me it's just i i probably forgot my eyeglasses so i just want to be able to see i need to get lasik by the way uh eye surgery so if you recommend any spots please let me know because i'm kind of scared to get the operation done but i know i gotta get it done uh, bring regular eyeglasses too, right? I know you want to look cool. I know you want to be Superman, but sometimes you got to be Clark Kent and you got to wear your eyeglasses if you need it, right? I mean, what's the point of spending all this money, investing your money into a conference and you can't see anything? Yes, you can hear, but people uh, retain more information. Some people are better visual learners like myself, where not only can you hear, you can see, and then you can take notes. You can write it down, right? Best way to learn and then to implement right make sure you implement uh bring your jacket uh, if if i know everything if i know anything right coming from a tropical country cambodia tropical weather right it's usually hot as hell uh hu humid coming to the u.s it's cold at least the parts that i'm in dallas i've never been i think i think it is kind of hu humid out there but i don't know about this time of year but bring a jacket just in case uh bring your hat uh just in case you know you're you're, you're at the gym you don't want to do your hair and you know you don't want to look like crap put a hat on <laughs> or whatever makes you feel comfortable i don't know whatever it is but that's just for me right remember this is just my list of what i do to make myself feel comfortable uh bluetooth headset yeah make sure you bring your bluetooth and knowing me i tend to break things uh, i'm terrible with taking care of my uh electronics uh but you could always buy new ones right you, you i mean you you buy things to use it right if you're always taking care of it you're never using it then what's the point of buying it not to say that there's no in-between balance right but that's what <laughs> i mean I, I use it a lot uh but i have spare headsets so if you're on a plane you know sometimes they have movies sometimes they have um audiobooks whatever it is just bring spare headsets just in case your bluetooth run out of batteries it doesn't work you have a spare uh uh necklace i always bring my necklace everywhere i go it's my grandparents all right 
aren't they lovely right my grandma my grandpa on my mom's side so my maternal grandparents i love them they're both gone but they're always in my heart i love them dearly and i'm sure there's more stuff i need to add but let me let me let me think i got 40 items on here what else do i need and let's see i'm gonna put my jerky shoe cleaner did i put shoe cleaner on here already yeah shoe cleaner i didn't put toothpaste toothpaste q-tips right gotta clean the other day <laughs> oh my god oh, i was in georgia for a whole week right and I totally forgot I didn't bring Q-tips and on that last day I was there I was like you know my ears kind of itchy you know it's like ah it feels like a lot of ear wax so I used the Q-tip right and brought it out oh my god it was so yellow it looked like honey <laughs> and oh it's so ugly on both sides so <laughs> yeah yeah sorry for the graphic uh <laughs> visualization <laughs> <laughs> okay what else uh i got my microphone i got uh da -da -da -da, night food suits i gotta oh i gotta put the quantity of suits suits times two dress shirts times four dress pants times two jeans underwear always bring more underwear than needed meaning that if you travel for four days bring six underwears why i'll tell you why well remember sometimes accidents happen like i'm guilty right i'm guilty of having accidents you never know sometimes you fart and poop comes out <laughs> <laughs> well, what do you call that mud butt or whatever and number three it happens right you never know and that's where that's where my emergency situation and and comes in right i always overpack but Think of it like this, undies, uh, it's not that much. It doesn't take too much space. So I would have at least one or two extra pair of undies. And even if accidents don't happen, sometimes you go to the gym, sometimes you hop in the pool. I don't know that you didn't expect. Uh, so, so bring extra just in case, right? You don't wanna wear the same undies that you wore to the gym, right? Or same undies from yesterday. Cause I don't know about you, but I, I'm not, you know sometimes smell <laughs> you know you gotta have spare <laughs> same thing with socks right socks bring extra dress shoe socks terribly matching my socks so sometimes uh i i don't know how to color coordinate my outfit so yeah um so cash I recommend i know i put my wallet in there but let's say cash id credit cards debit cards right and i say this because right although you put a wallet on there you want to be more specific because sometimes you assume you assume and that's what when things go wrong when you assume you tend to forget things you tend to forget oh crap i just use all my money to pay rent uh now i have no more cash Oh crap, I remember my uh, my debit card expired. Now I can't use it. So it's good to double check. Double check. Let's see, what else? <laughs> I am thinking. But yeah, well, let's get started on packing up. Hopefully I get this done, done very quickly. Uh, I know I spent about the last 20 some minutes uh, commenting or <laughs> sharing my stories. But in the meantime, hey, leave, leave a comment. Tell me what are some of the tips that you have. And we'll see you in a bit. Items into this bad boy. Hopefully you can see. And I got my suits hanging up top on my closet right now. So what we would do first off is what I like to do is I like to grab my, my dress shoes. My dress shoes. And the secret is... You can stuff these dress shoes. Normally, what we do is we always put these uh, these foot things to keep it prevented from uh, bending, right? Well, in lieu of that, we can stuff our undies in here, <laughs> right? So here it is. I'm going to show you. Roll it up. Stuff it in there. Remember, it's, it's, it's all about 
efficiency maximizing space so that this way your your luggage is not overpacked right it's compressed and it all fits securely so with that being said what we're gonna do now is we're gonna stuff this in here so let's put it in put it in there you go that's step one so my brown shoes i probably gotta wear my brown shoes tomorrow so with that being said my tennis shoes will go in here so tennis shoes same idea i can stuff my swimming trunks in but i'm gonna put my socks in first Yeah, you'd be surprised how, how much room it fits. And it keeps it from, from really crushing, right? It helps with the thing. It helps a bit, okay? Don't use that as a, don't think of it as a one-stop shop, but we're, we're looking for efficiency, maximizing space. For my wife beaters, uh, it's white, so I don't want to put it on top of the white shoe or black shoes because it might get dirty. What else will go in here? Oh, look at my doggy bag. Let's see what we got in here. We got gel. We got all these five hour energy drinks. You know, conference is gonna be like 12, 14 hours long. I gotta make sure I have enough energy to last me throughout the thing. I got uh, travel hairspray. I got travel coffee. I got travel dry shampoo. I got portable pom pomade. I got a brush. I got a leather cleaning kit, right? Comes with all the brush and everything. So <laughs> I like to uh, make sure those those instances are very uh, tidy. Uh, five hour energy, I'm just gonna put it all through all the cracks and stuff in here. Yeah, I like to put, in case, you never know, your luggage might be stolen. I like to put stuff in here, in my backpack. So I put some stuff in the backpack. Passport, make sure you don't forget it, just in case your ID doesn't work. Let's see. fun part is putting all these clothes in your main event so here it is all my clothes I'm gonna be wearing one of my suits and just gotta stuff it in there you go get the idea let's see how heavy it is Oh, it's pretty light. I would say probably about 20 pounds at most, 25. Yeah, it's not heavy unless I just got ultra strong all of a sudden. All right, and then my clothes for tomorrow. I got my suit that I'm going to be wearing to the event. It's in here. This is my outfit for tomorrow that I'll be wearing to the airport. All this stuff. So there you go. Sorry, you gotta look at my undies. Don't judge me or my socks. I like my cool socks. They're playful socks. My girlfriend got it for me. So you can stand out. Did it go well with the brown socks? All right. Voila. And that's it. Hopefully you got some really cool tricks on how to really uh, stuff your luggage efficiently and maximize the space and be able to put everything on a carry-on so you don't have to carry, do a check-in luggage and wait and potentially get your luggage misplaced, stolen, 
boss, whatever it is. So see you in the next video. Take care. Put in the comments what are some secret travel hacks that you implement and how has it been working for you? I'm curious to know because I'm always looking for ways to be better. Thank you.